Well, hi everyone, Matt Kliskowski here, and I've got a couple of on-one tips for you here. These are these are two tips that if you came from the the Lightroom world, you may be happy to know that on one has a similar tip inside of it as well. Okay. So the first one is gonna be let's say we go, let's say we do some things in develop. And then we jump over here to effects and you can see I've already added some effects to this photo or filters if you want to call it. Uh, and I'll even go in here and add a, uh, add, I'll add a couple more filters. There's another one and we'll make it even more. I'll throw a sharpening filter on there. And what's going to happen is your filter list is going to get really, really big. So you'll probably go into glow and you'll start to adjust the settings in here and whatnot. Then you'll probably go down and start to adjust the settings in vignette and do something there and you have to keep scrolling and doing all this stuff. Well, if you recall, we, we would have the same problem in Lightroom, whereas we would have all these panels start to get open and then you spend your, your whole editing time scrolling up and down and doing all this. Lightroom had something called solo mode that helped us get away from this because it only kept one panel open at a time. Well, you may be happy to know that on one has taken that same feature and even use the same horrible name. <laughs> so I always made fun of the name in Lightroom. I'm like, so why not just call it single panel mode or something like that? I don't know. I just, I have to imagine something better than solo mode. Um, although I am a Star Wars fan, maybe there's a little throwback to Star Wars and I have no idea. Anyway, the good news is, is if you knew what solo mode did inside of Lightroom, it does something very similar here inside of On One. And if you didn't know, then just consider this a new feature that you did not know about. When I turn it on, what's going to happen is it's going to collapse all of the panels, except for the one I happen to be working in. So what's nice about this is as soon as I switch to another panel and I go over here to glow, it has opened the glow, opened the glow panel and it has collapsed the vignette panel. If I head down here to the sunshine panel, it will close glow and just leave me open in sunshine. So it's just a, it's a little workflow tip. It can get tedious if you've got six or seven or eight panels open and having to scroll up and down. And then the other one, this is, this is pretty simple. It's just, to me, it, it's one of the simplest things, but to me, it's one of the biggest lifesavers and, and tips that I, I just, I, I now, I, it's almost innate, like I don't even think about it anymore. And that is the double click to reset a slider. So if I make an adjustment and I come in here and I do something to the photo, I can double click the name of the slider and that will reset it back to its default value, which is usually zero, but it could be for uh, something different for other settings over there. But again, it's such a simple little thing but I can't tell you how many times I use that one over and over again and how many times I run into people that I, I, will, I will watch somebody edit and I'll watch them try to grab that slider and set it back down here to zero or put their cursor in there and set that to zero when really all it is is just come over here, double click the name and that gets reset to zero. Well, I hope you enjoyed those tips. I hope they uh, came in a little handy for you. And also, I'd just like to point you over to my website, mattk.com. I do have an on one landscape editing course if you haven't seen it yet. I'd appreciate it if you swung by the website and checked it out. It's at mattk.com slash on one landscape.